Yes guys and welcome back to this week's vlog. Normally we are travelling around Europe, the UK, anywhere we can in our home on wheels but as you guys have probably guessed we are back in Plymouth renovating this special T4 Razorback. I knew this was going to be a really big job but I did not expect to still be here two months later. We have got on with quite a lot, the front's now painted. The front is now painted, all underneath is sorted, all the welding is sorted. So we are slowly, slowly getting there. And in this week's video, I promised you guys, you are gonna see the biggest transformation yet. So let's get into it. Good morning team. We have been up nice and early this morning, managed to get a second coat on there, which is great. Sam's now gone off for a couple of hours. She's had to go and run some errands and that. So I have been left with the task of a bit of fiberglassing. I've never done any fiberglassing before in my life. Sam's brother has helped me out. He's given me a few recommendations on how to do it and a few like pointers, the best way to do it. So I'll tell you where I am right now. I've got my table set up. I've got all my stuff on it. I've got the catalyst. Oh no, that's the catalyst. I've got the resin, got some acetone, fiberglass, measuring cups. And what I've done is this is one big crack all along here, as you can see. So I need to fill all this in with fiberglass. These screws that are coming through here, these are plates I've put on to make sure that it all stays in place. You can see metal plate there, metal plate in the middle there. There's a metal plate in the middle there. They will just be there temporarily until the fiberglass all sets off. And then once that will set off, I'll be able to take them out and then fill it in the holes. That's the plan anyway. Like I said, first time doing this. So I'm just now going to give it all a wipe down with some acetone. Once it's all wiped down, I'll start getting my mix ready, cutting up the fiberglass into sheets that I can lay in there. And then yeah, let's give it a go. Nothing to lose, have we? never done this before so I'm just cutting it into strips I watched a couple of videos in bed last night while I was trying to get to sleep just thinking about it I was like how am I gonna find glass I know there's companies out there that can do it professionally but not actually too much to do so I'm thinking if I can just get a few layers of this fiberglass on if I can get this resin to go off properly one thing with fiberglass make sure you got a mask on you don't want to be taking any of that shit in What I've done there is just called keying in. So I'm making it all rough so the resin and the fiberglass actually take to the mess of the body. I'll tape up the other side. We'll take that one off and we should be ready to start mixing up the resin. You're not gonna believe it, team. Those sides that I've been working on, these long ones, before I put the fiberglass on, I was like, right, let's just make sure that they do actually fit the van. And to my huge, huge, huge disappointment, they don't fit. So they're actually too short to go on here. So there must have been two types of Razorback. There must have been two different body types or two different shells to it. Probably not too much different, but yeah, I'm really disappointed. But this is the old side. So this comes in two halves, this one. So this one will have to be treated. I'll have to still fiberglass a lot of this one, especially down here where we've got bits missing there. That'll all have to be fiberglassed in that. And the other parts I'll have to do a bit of sheet metal work to because the top half is metal and then it's hinged the bottom half um, and getting it off, I did kind of like, I don't want to say ruin it, but I smashed it up a bit, getting it off. It's here as you can see, so yeah doesn't look the best but I'll make it work I will make it work after all that palaver I have managed to have a look at this side I've now prepped all of this end ready to be fiberglassed a bit here a bit up here a couple of cracks also there is this bit here which I'm gonna do all now and then this big horrible mess here which someone's tried to fix once before I'll deal with that second time round so first of all, let's just get all this done, all along there, 
and here. As you can see there, this is how I am getting the fiberglass in ready. There was a massive big area missing from here. So what I decided to do was tape it all up where I can, start layering it up with fiberglass, and then I'll remove the tape, see what it's looking like. And if I need to apply some more, I'll apply some more on the other side just to make it super strong. I've really enjoyed the process of fiberglassing. It is a horrible, messy job. So I've made sure I have my mask on, uh, covering up where I can. But yeah, repairing the old parts of the side of the van, it's been fun activity really. And it's another skill, another feather in the hat as they say. So yeah, I've really, really enjoyed it. It is now the day after I have just done all of that fiberglass in. As you can see, this morning I have been sanding it down a little bit and I forgot to pick a camera up. So let me show you guys the final result. When I say final result, I've still got a fill of the outside, but the inside has gone rock solid. So I definitely got the mix right. There's, it's feeling really, really strong. So I feel I have put enough fiberglass on it. And I am really, really impressed with the shape. This was the worst corner. This is the one that had all the blue plastic on it and everything like that. I've sanded it down to get the right shape. I've just got to put a lip on the front now along here. I'll fiberglass that on in a minute, mix up some more fiberglass, but that is feeling solid. So this panel is going to need to be sanded all the way down because the previous owner or the previous person who repaired this actually put Raptor paint on it. Um, and I'm not a fan of the Raptor on the outside of the van. We're going to do the bed line in the van in Raptor, but because the rest of the panels aren't Raptored, I'm just going to take all this back, back to the original, fill in any uh, indents or anything, and then we'll paint these up as well. Another day in paradise. Well, another day working on this van. Guys, so I've gone for some checker plate. Here it is. This is the checker plate that's gonna go on this floor. As you can see, we've had a bit of rain and it is filthy. So this is all gonna be need a good wipe down. I have made sure the checker plate fits. Don't worry, it's not gonna be the first try. Slides in there nice. I've got a bit for the back where that was all rusted through as well. For any of you guys that are wondering what the hell I'm talking about, we are renovating this Volkswagen Razorback. This is a hydraulic floor, goes up and down. It used to have a cab on the back, but now it is gonna be a pickup truck. So the vision is starting to come to life. It's all coming together slowly. And as you can see, we've painted her a lovely olive green the same as our lt35 the sides have been fiberglassed but they're just not on the vehicle yet so yeah today's job clean this up get it all stuck down rivet it down i need to get one fold in this bit of checker plate here but yeah we've got a lot to do so let's get to it I've got the fold put on to the checker plate. Let's get it in the van, make sure it fits, wipe it down, stick it in, couple of rivets, and we're done. Floor is down, team. All masticked down. I haven't put the rivets in yet. I've just got to do that. Do the back plate. But I ran out of mastic when I was uh, using my two tins because that's all I bought. So I'll have to go and get some more, like no more nails, whatever you call it, sort of stuff for that. But in the meantime, we have a wicked new product on our way to us. I cannot wait to get using it on the sides and on the underneath of this van. So right now, I gotta get down with it and start prepping. Look what's finally arrived. Guys, I am so 
excited to open this and talk to you about Lanagard. They are our proud sponsors of today's video and I cannot wait to get their product on this Razorback. So Lanagard actually provides you with your own DIY kit to spray and protect all the underbody and protect it from rust. And this girl needs a bit of that treatment. We've got one bottle of spray and two bottles of spray. And we've also got some moto grease as well. Honestly, this girl is just not gonna know ourselves. So the reason why we've gone for their larger kit is because not only are we doing the underbody, we're also doing the sides because we've been able to take off the side panels and expose all of this metal. So she needs to get treated. Clean the vehicle and leave to dry. A good close-up jet wash is best, but wiping using a hose is also fine. Apply Lanagard grease to areas very vulnerable to high corrosion or seizing up, such as weld seams, nuts and bolts, pins and sharp edges. So if she needs it, and she's gonna be good for years to come. Got everything all attached, ready to apply a very light coating of the Lanagard motor spray. This is a wicked attachment in itself but I'm also excited to use the different injector one. It smells nice. So what Lanagard is actually for is to prevent any more rust coming through on the van. It puts a nice protective layer on it, not letting the metal get any more oxygen or any more water to it, which causes the rust to form. So with this spray, it's a bit like an underseal. Normally they're black, thick, heavy underseals, as a lot of you guys would have seen before. But this is clear product, so you can see what's still happening to the metal, but it also means your whole van, car, truck is protected. This is so easy. I've just done that whole side in that short amount of time. Literally game changing. So insane. That probably took you what, like five minutes? Yeah. Literally about five minutes, if that, I would say. And I've covered the whole van where it needed to be covered. It's incredible stuff. As you can see, we have moved on to the other side now. Again, I just can't believe how easy this is to put on. Imagine if I had to go around with a brush and some of that sticky, thick underseal that we normally use. It would have taken me forever. It would have cost me an absolute fortune in underseal. This kit is so, so worth money. Just slipping into my overall because it's now time to do the underneath of the van. I'm really excited to do this bit. This is what Lanagard was made for. So I'm gonna get under there with a good wire brush Give it a good old brush down. Make sure I have my spectacles on. And then, time to use our injector wand and get under there with all the lana guard. I've chose my weapon of choice, which is a wire brush. I have safety glasses on, which I can hardly see out of because they're that scratched and dirty, but we're going under the van. I don't think I've actually ever shown you guys what the under of the van actually looks like, but it looks good considering it was sat for a few years. It looks really, really good. This is how it was looking before. Now I've got it all starting to look like this. Ready for the Lanagard to go on. Literally I can get it on the whole chassis body. I can get it on everywhere. It's just incredible. As we mentioned earlier, we went for the injector pack, which comes with this super handy long nozzle, just attaches to the spray end, and it means I can get up inside the chassis because vehicles are actually known to rust from the inside out. So the fact that I can spray this, mist comes out like this. So it comes out all over the sides. I can put it up in here and spray away. I can go all the way along here, get it right in there and spray it while I'm coming backwards. Chris is pretty much 
there now. He is just spraying the final bit. I can't believe how quick it's been. I know. And it looks so good oh, already, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. It looks like a different fan. It actually takes quite a while for the Lanagar to set. It stays wet for a little while and then eventually it goes like candle-like where you can touch it. It's not quite wet, but it's kind of like that candle feel. Yeah. But this photo has been amazing. Thank you so much, Lanagard, for partnering with us and sponsoring today's video. We're going to leave you guys a link at the bottom of this video to go and check them out for yourself because we believe every vehicle needs some Lanagard treatment. And we will definitely be applying this to Olive 100%. It's Olive's turn next. She is going to need it for our big trek up to Norway. So I look forward to getting her up on some ramps and being able to spray the underside of her just knowing that we have got the protection. Lanagard, brilliant little family run business. Go and check them out because honestly guys, I could not recommend this product enough. What job is next? <laughs> I haven't even looked at the list. I mean, we're gonna have to have a little look at this list and see how we're doing, but that is a massive part of this project done. Oh. All of her rust has been treated and taken care of for the future now, which is phenomenal because she has got a bit of an age on her, but we're determined to give her a much longer life. Absolutely. Yes, team, welcome back. Today's first job is to get the bed of this van painted. I've got some Raptor paint and a spray gun, so I'm gonna get it all sprayed up. I have not been able to do this all week. It's currently Saturday right now, and all week it's been on and off with showers. Every time I reverse the van back, I've been like, right, yes, I can do it, and then it will just start to rain again. So now it's sunny all day today. We have got rain about six o'clock tonight, so I need to get at least two coats on and then get it covered up so it can cure and dry. I'm gonna have to start by wiping it all down with some thinners, just cleaning all the surfaces and all that. I've already gone over it with my 80 grit sandpaper. So this is the first job. Tedious job this will be. Oh, and another thing that happened this week, the motor for the bed actually broke. Trying to get hold of one of them, it's been an absolute pain in the ass. You can't get it rewound, which is also a pain in the ass. So I've had to try and get a new one, but the lead time on that is about two weeks. So I can't actually put the bed to the floor at the moment, which is the whole point that I wanted to use this van, so it can go down and up, down and up. But new motor should be on its way soon. Amazing does that look? It looks like so different. That looks insane. You smashed it. It's the first coat on and I can't believe how good it looks. And how easy it was to spray. Literally with a spray gun it makes life so much easier. I almost regret not spraying the front now because that was so, so easy. That was a really, really productive morning and I am feeling good that we've got all that done, but I need to get showered pretty sharpish because we are out for some wicked, wicked lunch. Come and see where we're going. Don't, it's freezing. I haven't been setting on yet. I'm oh, sorry. Fuck. Better. Fuck, it's better. <laughs> go, go. You need your face wet okay. because your face is black. 
Feel good? Feels so good. Time to get changed, team! Watch this, ready? Boom! Let's go, team! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that is insane. <laughs> so beautiful. We're taking the rest home. That was so good. So, so good. Yeah. All the flavours were amazing. But that's coming in with us. Guys, 10 out of 10. 10. If you're ever coming down to Plymouth, go into Hedgerow Hound. At the moment they're in Devonport, but they're just opening a shop up in town. Make sure you Google it, find out where they are. If you don't even get to Plymouth, I know they do festivals around the area. Make sure you get there because their food is just the best. I'm full. <laughs> Team, we are back from our amazing afternoon tea and the Razorback is looking amazing. It looks sick. The Raptor paint has gone on really well. And it looks really tough paint, doesn't it? It does. So I am so, so chuffed with that. But now I've got to get back into my overall and start putting the sides on. Thank you so, so much for tuning in, as always, to these videos. The emoji this week is going to be any black emoji. The coolest one you can find in your keyboard. Put it on there so that we know you guys have made it to the end of this video. As Sam said, thank you so much for tuning in and I look forward to you seeing you next week. I think it should all be properly coming together then. And a big thank you to you for working so hard because you didn't see much of me in this video. And a massive thank you again to Lana Guard for sponsoring this video. They have given us our own link that gives you £5 off your own Lana Guard kit. So I highly recommend it, just like Sam has said. So make sure you go and check that link out for your £5 off and get your car slash van ready for the winter. We'll see you next time. See ya!